Hi Tuners! My name is Alex, and I want to welcome you all in Stage X Academy. In this series, we are giving you practical knowledge on how to do various calibrations on your own. In every episode, step by step, we are presenting on what you need to do to get things done in an easy and fast way and how to benefit from all Stage X features. Today, we will be presenting on how to adjust the speed limitation feature. Almost every modern control unit has the option to limit the speed. Law and market requirements forced manufacturers to equip cars with such an option. But there are some scenarios when we need to increase the set speed limit, for example for a dyno measurement where the limitation could disallow a full-length run until the rev limiter. The limiter could be included as a feature in control units, like for example FOMO Co, or by additional modules like CPC in new Mercedes models. Today, we will show you how to adjust this limiter for the 1.6 TDI engine with an ECU developed by Delphi, the DCM 6.2V. Let's open Stage X. Now, we can jump directly to our destination, the vehicle speed limiter maps. But before we do any changes, it is wise to consider and confirm the actual VMAX limits. Looking through our maps, we can see that the lowest value is set to 190 and the highest to 250. We know from a dyno test that this particular car has a limit of 190 km per hour. So let's choose one of the maps and edit the value to 300 km per hour. Then use the Change Similar Maps option and apply the absolute change to the rest of them. What is worth to know is that values higher than 327 km per hour are not recommended. Some ECU treat this value as less than zero, so exceeding it might lead to a non-starting engine. On the other hand, we can also set the VMAX to a custom value, let's say 140 km per hour. We do the same steps as previously, just setting our desired limit lower. After we set the expected values, we can save our file, export it, and write to the car to verify the results. It's done! The top speed will be only limited by the power abilities of the vehicle and gearbox ratios, but not by the ECU. As you can see, everything went our way and we achieved the desired effect in a very simple and quick way. That's all we have in this episode of Stage X Academy. Remember that we are always active in the comments section, so if you have any questions or ideas about what you would like to see in future episodes, please let us know. See ya at your next tune.